video, we are going to look at the Google Forms add-on notifications. From your email, you can get to your drive by clicking on this nine dot icon at the top right. Select Drive. As the drive loads, you can go to Create Form to create a new form. Now let's look at adding the add-on notifications. At this form, going to go right here at the drop-down menu, Add-ons, and select Get Add-ons. And here are the Google Form add-ons that are currently available. This should change over time. Google just uh, released these very recently, and so um, you can keep an eye on it to uh, see you know, what else is available. Here is Forms Notification. I'm going to select Free. And I'm going to accept and authorize it to appear with my Google Forms. So it is working at this point. It does take a few minutes for it or moments for it to um, come about. And um, it gives you a little bit of um, a, a notice here as it's adding. I can find my add-on now. It's listed here as one that is available for me. So let's take a closer look at that. So first of all, let's activate the add-on. I'm going under add-ons. I'm going to go to form notifications, configure notifications. The menu loads to the right. Your first choice is to decide if you want the notification to come to you or respondents. Notify me is nice as an add-on, but it's not as necessary as uh, the respondents one, but let's take a look at it anyway. Notify me um, will just ask you to put your email address and to send you notification after how many responses that you need. Like maybe you only have 15 items to give away and so you can mark when you want to know when that's done so you receive an email. You can also ask it to notify respondents at that point. Um, so let's save that. And then I will get an email um, every time when 15 people have responded to my survey. Let's look at why that, you do have another option for that so it's not necessary to use the add-on. Here is the sheet which is going to gather the responses for this survey. You've always had the ability to go um, into the forms, excuse me, tools, select notification rules, and here you can ask to be notified anytime changes are made or a user submits a form. You can decide if you want a daily digest or if you want it right away. So that has some similar functionality to the, the um, notify me function of form email or notification. But let's look at the one for notify respondents. That is something that is, is very cool. So first of all, it's going to ask you which of your questions that's here is the one that is going to have their email. So it is called email in here. You can see it's right there is the name for it. And here's where you can add your notification to the text body as to what they will receive. Sometimes when people um, do submit forms, you want to provide them with a little bit more information, such as um, you know a follow-up, or when they can expect a response or a website to visit for more information or a public publication of the form. So that is a way to do that as well. Now you may remember that you can also do that on the confirmation as you're editing the form. So down here under confirmation page you can um, also send an email when they submit it, uh, submit their, their form. Uh, but in some cases, it's just a matter of preference. Would you rather um, have these notifications arrive in your uh, through the spreadsheet notification? Would you like to send emails through the confirmation page? Um, sometimes people click off so quickly they don't notice that confirmation coming in. 
but to have an actual email will help them have something to save and look back on for further follow-up. So this is um, how to do the form notification add-on with Google Forms. Oh.